Ask Lori, a show designed to give a better perspective on relationships no matter what the circumstance may be. You can start, have, and keep unstoppable relationships. Lori Ann Davis can tell you how. Have questions? Need answers? Ask Lori. Thank you for tuning in to the only station giving you double the information and inspiration. WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte. This is Ask Lori, and I'm your host, Lori Ann Davis. Don't let love and passion get lost in your life. As your relationship specialist, I'm here to share secrets with you every week, helping you create unstoppable relationships. Welcome to this week's show. I am so happy that you've joined us today. I'm here to help you find, renew, and keep love and passion in your life. Whether you're single or in a relationship, this show is for you. I bring you the benefits of 28 years of, of experience helping people create the relationships of their dreams, and I'm here to help you with yours. If you have questions, I want to hear them. Please email them to me at wgivasklaurie at gmail.com, and then be sure to tune in every week. You can also listen to my Ask Lori segment on the Profit and Growth Hour every Tuesday at 5 p.m. where Dr. Business and I will be answering more of your relationship questions. Today we're going to be discussing keys to happiness, the secrets that happy people have. But first let's thank our sponsor, Newton CPA. One of the most important elements of any relationship, personal or business, is trust. And when it comes to taxes and tax planning, Newton CPA has earned my trust. Trust not only to get advice, but for the help needed to use that advice. So for tax preparation, planning, resolving tax problems, and help in avoiding any future problems, trust Newton CPA. I do. Give them a call at 803 810 08 Two, four. Today we're discussing keys to happiness. How happy people, I'm sorry, how happy are you with your life, your relationships, your friends, your job, other aspects of your life? There are secrets or keys to happiness that happy people know that you might not. It's not realistic, of course, to expect to be happy all the time, but how about we aim for that 80-20 rule? Are you happy 80% of the time? Are your thoughts positive 80% of the time? You might not actually even know the answer to that question. We tend to function on automatic pilot so many times, and we aren't even aware of our thoughts and our feelings a lot of the time. It might be beneficial for you to check in with yourself more often. Take inventory of your thoughts and feelings. Today, we're going to look at some of the secrets of happiness. So don't go anywhere because I have lots of information to share with you. Get your paper and your pencil ready and stay tuned because when we come back, we will continue our discussion on keys to happiness. You're listening to Ask Lori and I'm your host, Lori Ann Davis. You're tuned in to WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte. Zippy Shell Mobile Self Storage is the most convenient and affordable short and long-term storage solution in the Charlotte and surrounding areas. Call 704-323-4056. We are convenient. We deliver the storage containers to your door. You load it at your convenience. We pick it up and store it for you and return it when you are ready. Our facility is alarmed and climate controlled. Save time, save money, save everything with Zippy Shell. Call us at 704-323-4056. That's 704-323-4056. We are part of Premier Barter Exchange and are a family-owned and operated company. If you or a loved one are unable to venture easily from your home, Due to injury, illness, or disability, Compassion Salon Services can provide you with a rejuvenating hair salon service in the privacy and comfort of your own home. Please call 704-774-2204 for more information or visit us on the web at CompassionSalon.com. Compassion Salon Services for Immobilized Persons 
We believe the enrichment of life lies through compassion for the soul. So call us at 704-774-2204. That's 704-774-2204 for your in-home salon services. Welcome back to WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte and those streaming live through the free TuneIn Radio app. You're listening to Ask Lori, and I'm your host, Lori Ann Davis. If you're just tuning in, today we are discussing keys to happiness. But first, speaking of happiness, are you frustrated in that search for your soulmate? You can always join my successful singles meetup group if you live in the Charlotte area and learn how to find and keep your ideal partner. You can find all the information on my website. That's LoriAnnDavis.com, L-O-R-I-A-N-N Davis.com. Or you can call me at 704-999-1781 and we will work on helping you to become successfully single, which means you won't be single anymore, right? All right, but today we are going to talk about keys to happiness. The key really to remember is that our minds, our feelings, our thoughts, um, as we go through our day, really do impact so much, and they impact how happy we feel, how relaxed, how happy, how fulfilled are you. Really, that gets translated into your physiology of your body. So our thoughts, our beliefs, our moods affect our health, they affect our relationships, they affect how we feel about the day, they affect our stress, um, which we're going to talk about on future shows. So happiness really stems from and originates from our thoughts and our feelings. We can't always control what happens in our lives on a day-to-day basis. Some things we don't have any control over. But what we do have control over is how we interpret those thoughts, how we think about things. So there has been research about people who are happy with life, no matter kind of what's going on with their life. Earlier we talked about that 80-20 rule. We kind of want you to be happy 80% of the time. So what do happy people have to teach us that maybe we don't know. So let's talk about some of those things. People that are happy tend to nurture their relationships. That means relationships with friends and with their family. So if you've listened to my radio show or you know anything about me at all, you know that I'm a huge proponent to nurturing your relationship with your partner. I want you to spend time together every single day enjoying each other's company, relaxing together, appreciating each other, putting everything else aside and finding things that you can do together that really nurture that relationship and that will help you to reduce your stress, to build on your relationship, to keep your relationship foundation solid. But also now we're learning that this also is gonna create happiness for you that day, the next day, But in addition to your partner, let's also nurture our relationships with our children, our parents, our friends. How, you know, we live in a society sometimes where most of our friend connection can be on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever one you're using. So let's maybe reach out to them more and have a phone conversation with them. So nurturing those relationships. I know we get busy sometimes. We put our family, our partners to the side. We put our friends. So let's try to bring that to the forefront of our life just a little bit because that really is one of the secrets that happy people have for being happy. Another secret is expressing gratitude for what you have instead of focusing on what you don't have, which can be the easy thing to do. The bills are coming in, the kids need to be fed, your to-do list is really long, and you start looking at, oh, all the things I don't have or wish I had. But instead, let's take some time every day and really nurture that attitude of gratitude Maybe keeping a journal even where before you go to sleep at night. When I was going through a very difficult time in my life a while back, I, um, that's what I did. I had a little notebook that I kept on the side of my bed. And every night before I went to bed, I wrote down everything that happened that day that I was grateful for. 
And what I noticed was when I went to sleep, I felt an awful lot better. And let me trust me, there was a lot going on in my life that wasn't great. But by having to focus on it, having to find those things every day, it really did help me through a difficult time. And if you're even things are going well, it'll be easier. But no matter where you are, it's going to help you to be happier. Another thing people that are happy do is they lend a hand. So no matter what's going on in your life, let's think about reaching out to somebody else, whether that's taking time to volunteer for an organization or even maybe just sending a text or a phone call to a friend of yours that you know is going through a difficult time. Now that we're on Facebook so much, we know when our friends are going through difficult times. How about instead of just liking their page, liking their post about it, you send them a personal little note that says, I'm here for you. What do you need? That might be helpful to you. Another thing is to practice optimism when you're imagining your future. Sometimes we can get caught up on what is now and we think that that is our reality and we forget that how we're thinking and feeling now, how we're going about that is creating our reality for the coming future. So let's Try to be optimistic about that future. Spend some time every day imagining where you'd like to be and living it enough for a period of time that you can taste it, smell it, feel it. Your emotions are there and you're happy about it. Again, when I was going through that difficult time, after I would write in my journal of what I was grateful for that day, that got me in a little bit of a better space, I would then close my eyes and spend some time imagining what my life was going to be like when I had come out of this valley in my life, the down part, and was back up on top again. And I think, and I am convinced that it helped me get there so much faster. You know, fear can creep in when we're going through something. And so we have to consciously breathe through that fear sometimes, try to let go of that. And one of the good ways to do it is to practice this optimism, is to imagine what it's going to be like when you're past it, when you're where you want, when that presentation you have to do at work, when you've given it and it's been successful, when whatever issues that you're dealing with, with your partner, with your children, with your finances, you're past that. And so you spend some time just really imagining that. It does help you to get past it, to have, you know, to help you sometimes to even see clearer so you can know what steps you need to take next in order to get there. Another thing, another secret that happy people have is that they savor life's little pleasures. No matter what is going on in your life, no matter where you are, there are little pleasures that are happening that you can enjoy. It can be something as simple as setting your alarm clock 10 minutes ahead in the morning, dragging your butt out of bed even though you don't want to be, before you head off to a job you don't like or a situation you're not crazy about or a stressful day, giving yourself that extra time, taking your cup of tea, taking your cup of coffee, sitting down maybe and just enjoying it, knowing the house is quiet, you have nothing else to do, but sit there and relax for 10 minutes. If you, you know, if, if you don't have to get up really early, how about going out and, you know, opening the back door, sitting outside, listen to the birds, feel the breeze. In the evening, one of my favorite things to do if I can find the time is to sit outside and just sit quietly, maybe with my glass of wine, because I do like my glass of wine in the evening. It helps my stress. I don't know about you, but it's just, it's just a little bit, so don't get worried about me. But, you know, just sitting out there and just just being in tune with nature is very helpful. What other small pleasures can you have during your lunch break? Can you get outside to enjoy the spring weather? Um, what things can you have? Can you take a bubble bath at the end of the day? Can you take a hot shower? Can you play with your children? Maybe. And get silly and laugh with them a little. What kind of things can you do? There are just so many things in life that don't cost anything, that are easy to come by, but we don't always take time to savor and really enjoy those things. So I want you to do that. This next one is very, very similar to what we've already talked about, and that is live in the moment as much as you can. We can get caught up and spend so much of our time sometimes living in either the past, 
dwelling on how things were better or how things weren't good or worrying about the future or thinking about when I get paid more, when I'm in that relationship, when this happens, when that happens, then I'm going to be happy. Now, it's, not, it's okay to go back to the past if you're going to learn some lessons from it that you can bring forward. I, you know, I'm all for that. I think that's great. I teach people how to do that all the time. I think that planning for the future, envisioning the future, I just told you to do that, is wonderful as well, as long as we're not being so stressed about the future that we're not living in the moment. Because really, we don't, the past is gone and there's nothing we can do about it. The future isn't a given, right? Something could happen. We don't know if tomorrow is going to come. Today and right now is all we have. So we have talked about enjoying that. We've talked about utilizing your thoughts to create a better future, assuming we're going to have one. We've talked about being optimistic. We've talked about being grateful for that. So living in that moment, enjoying it, using the moment to your best ability and when we talk about the future and I talk about planning and imagining it, we're imagining it as if it already is, not necessarily getting caught up in, well, how do I get there? Because then you can be in touch with that feeling of being there, which actually helps you to enjoy the moment as it is now. So we have given you lots of good things to think about. We're going to talk about being positive. We're going to have faith, right? We're going to stay focused. We're going to enjoy the little things of life. We're going to express our gratitude. We're going to do good things for others. That might be more information than you even wanted, but hopefully that gave you a lot of good ideas. But don't go anywhere because I still have more for you. So after the break, we will continue our discussion on the keys to happiness. You're listening to Ask Lori, and I'm your host, Lori Ann Davis. You're tuned in to WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte. I'm Peyton Manning, and I join Nationwide because they put members first. And what's important to you is important to them. What about my car? Yep. My retirement? Uh-huh. Our, Our house? Definitely. Protecting what you care about. Just another way Nationwide does it right. Nationwide is on your side. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates, Columbus, Ohio. Paid spokesperson. Subject to underwriting guidelines. And sales and availability vary. Contact Nationwide agent Chance Perry for a free quote today. The only chance you want to take when protecting your business, life, and belongings. It's 704-554-5701. That's 704-554-5701. If you or a loved one are unable to venture easily from your home due to injury, illness, or disability, Compassion Salon Services can provide you with a rejuvenating hair salon service in the privacy and comfort of your own home. Please call 704-774-2204 for more information or visit us on the web at CompassionSalon.com. Compassion Salon Services for Immobilized Persons. We believe the enrichment of life lies through compassion for the soul. So call us at 704-774-2204. That's 704-774-2204 for your in-home salon services. Welcome back to WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte, and those streaming live through the free TuneIn Radio app. You're listening to Ask Lori, and I'm your host, Lori Ann Davis. If you're just tuning in, we are discussing keys to happiness. We're going to help you to be a happier person. But first, if you want to find, renew, and keep love and passion in your life, I am always here to help you. For more information, please check out my website. It's LoriAnnDavis.com. That's L-O-R-I-A-N-N Davis.com, where you can read my blogs. You can find out what events I have coming up. You can follow me on social media. You can join my successful singles group if you live in Charlotte. You can check out a CD set that I have produced with lots of great information. 
because I really am here to help you create the relationship you have always wanted and deserved. So read my blogs, check, check out what I have on my website, write me your questions, feel free to contact me. You can always get in touch with me. Contact me through WGIV ask Lori at gmail.com or you can call me at 704-999-1781. Today we are discussing keys to happiness. We have talked so far about your mindset, how you think about things. We've talked about being grateful for what you have. We've talked about being op optimistic, letting go of your fears. We've talked about savoring life's little pressure little pleasures, if I could talk. We've talked about living in the moment. Now we are going to talk about what are some things that would actually increase your happiness. So we're going to go into this even deeper. We're going to talk even more because I think really we kind of get stuck sometimes in our life and we forget how to be happy. We live in a society where honestly I think most people focus on what they don't like in life more than what they do. And we live on automatic pilot, and a lot of times that automatic pilot of our life, that GPS, is set in a direction that really doesn't take us to a happy place. It takes us to complaining and what we don't like. And there can be a lot of stress in life. There can be a lot of things going on. A lot of them can be things we can't control. But what we can always control is our attitude and our interpretation of what's going on and what we do about that. Because that puts you in the driver's seat. You're not following that GPS. I don't know about your GPS, but mine gets me lost a lot of the time. It does not always take me to where I need to go. Well, when we're on automatic pilot in our lives, we don't always get to that happy place either. We can really get stuck. So today's show is about really helping you Turn off the GPS, get out of automatic pilot, and take control of your life. So one of the things I want you to do is I want you to, uh, this one, this one's for me. I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that this is a weakness of mine. I have to work on this. Overthinking everything. So how many of you do that? It can't just be me out there. Somebody in the station is raising their hand going, yep, that's me too. You know, I tend to... It comes from my grandmother, I think. My grandparents raised me a lot of my life. My grandmother was a worrier. She was the sweetest person ever. God love her. She was a wonderful woman, but she worried about everything. And I think maybe I learned some of that. Maybe I inherited some of that. But when something comes up, I do have a tendency to overthink it and get a little afraid and a little bit worried. So I have to work on that. So you have to cut loose those ruminating thoughts, those thoughts that you can't fall asleep at night because they go round and round and round and they keep coming up. Or you wake up in the middle of the night or you're driving down the road and you're on automatic pilot. And what are you doing? You're overthinking. You're the same thoughts going over and over and over. What if this happens? How am I going to do that? So really being aware of that really does help you to be able to stop some of that and stop the overthinking. Utilize some of what we talked about before, that visualizing the future. Get out of your brain and into kind of your heart, into your soul, into that space where you are thinking positive and you're actually creating good things. So, and along with that, one of the things that makes me feel better, I know, is to take some action to take something, do something as soon as you can, a little small step towards solving that problem so that you can get out of that ruminating and that overthinking. At least you say, you know what, I might not be able to see the clear path to getting to where I need to go, but I'm doing something little. So I know I've done that. I'm going to put the rest aside. I'm going to go back to enjoying now. And I'm going to seek meaning in my life amidst, amidst the stress, amidst whatever's going on. It's in, like we talked about before, enjoying those small things and figuring out what, what's meaningful in your life right now. I promise you there's something. And so focusing on that will really help you. It'll help change those automatic thoughts that are going round and round and round. Another simple thing to do is smile more, even if you don't feel like it. So that thing of make it 
wait, fake it until you make it. I'm doing it in reverse. Really does work. If you put a smile on your face, get out of your house, smile at everybody you meet, you know, look at them smiling back at you. You're going to come home and you're going to feel better. It's absolutely guaranteed. Or call somebody else that you know and instead of griping about what's going on with you or even sharing them your problems, do something nice for them. Take a break from your problems. It really will help. So another thing that I'd like to suggest is that you ga- engage in activities that sort of get you in that flow, that make you feel good about yourself. So for me, sometimes it's to go outside and work in the yard, take a walk through the woods, uh, even just to walk around the block, take a hot bath, do something good for me. That really helps me to stop that overthinking, those ruminating thoughts. I'm living now, which we talked about before. I'm being more positive. And I know that those steps I need to take, I've done what I can do for the moment. But what I find is sometimes when I can get out of all of that thinking and doing and just relax, the next step will come to me. All of a sudden, it's clear what I need to do next. I'm thinking clearer when I quit thinking about it so much. So hopefully that has given you lots and lots of ideas. I will If I have not already done so, I will be posting a blog on this that will have all of the information you can read again. Um, I will try to find even more information maybe. Um, I don't know. This was a long, good segment with lots of information. I did lots of research about how to be happy. So I might even write a couple of blogs about it. So stay tuned. Keep in check with my website to find out all the information. I post blogs every week with lots of great information for you. Again, my website is lauriandavis.com, L-O-R-I-A-N-N-Davis.com. And I'm always here to help you create a better life for yourself. That really is what I am passionate about. So if there's a topic you want to know about that I haven't covered, Please send me a note, ask me, I will write blogs about it, I'll do radio shows about it, I will do everything I can to try to help you have the life you deserve. You know, we only live once and life is short. Even my 20 year old the other day said to me, you know mom, it seems like just the other day that we went out to lunch celebrating my 20th birthday. She goes, I can't believe in a couple of months we're gonna be celebrating my birthday again. How did that happen so fast? And trust me, as you get older, life seems to go by faster and faster. So really, there is no time to waste, no matter what age you are. I want you to reduce that stress, to find ways to be happy, to find ways to enjoy now as much as you can. And along with that, to figure out how to create happier days in the future, because This is the life we have now, and so we need to make it the best one we can and really create the best life we have because I want you to have the relationships you deserve and the life you deserve. And let me know how I can help you with that, please. I am here to help you. So thank you so much, family, for tuning in and joining us. And please tune in every Thursday at 8.30 p.m where I will have more information with you on how to find, keep, and renew love and passion in your life, not only for the weekend, but for every day. I'm Ann Davis, and you're listening to Ask Glory on WDRB Media and WGIV, the soul of Charlotte. Have a great weekend. I'm Peyton Manning, and I join Nationwide because they put members first. And what's important to you is important to them. What about my car? Yep. My retirement? Uh Uh-huh. Our house? Definitely. Protecting what you care about. Just another way Nationwide does it right. Nationwide is on your side. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates, Columbus, Ohio. Paid spokesperson. Subject to underwriting guidelines. Good scales and availability vary. Contact Nationwide agent Chance Perry for a free quote today. The only chance you want to take when protecting your business, life, and belongings. It's 704-554-5701. That's 704-554-5701. If you or a loved one are unable to venture easily from your home due to injury, illness, or disability, Compassion Salon Services can provide you with a rejuvenating hair salon service in the privacy and comfort of your own home. Please call 704-774-2204 for more information 
or visit us on the web at CompassionSalon.com. Compassion Salon Services for Immobilized Persons. We believe the enrichment of life lies through compassion for the soul. So call us at 704-774-2204. That's 704-774-2204 for your in-home salon services.